Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. Wow, um, I talked about the third week in June being very, um, very instrumental uh, in relation to Trump. I also talked about something unexpected perhaps hitting us around the time of the solar eclipse in Cancer. I do feel uh, it. we can go, well, to two things really. We can go to the firing of uh, Jeffrey Berman, the US attorney for the Southern District of New York. He, he held his ground, stood his ground. He said he was a judicial appointment, not a Senate appointment. He wouldn't go. He dug in. He intimated, he released uh, a statement saying that he thought this was a political firing uh, and he linked it with ongoing investigations that SDNY are undertaking. Explosive stuff. The latest developments, as far as I know, on that particular matter is that Berman has come to an agreement with Barr that he will stand down if his number two, uh, the assistant US attorney for SDNY, takes his place. Now, Trump had a, wanted a Trump appointee in there um, who has not had prosecuting experience um, and uh, Berman has, has held out. Well, I, I, I was unclear about Berman to begin with. He was appointed, um, if you remember rightly, when the existing US attorney, Preet Brahara, uh, was fired as soon as Trump took over. And Berman was appointed by Jeffrey Sessions, who at the time was the um, the Attorney General. So I always had a question mark around Berman. But what Berman has been pursuing has been, well, a couple of things. He's been pursuing um, action against Giuliani and, of course, Iga Fruman, Lev Parnas, the Ukrainian matter, which I think has the potential to uncover the Trump Organization's foreign dealings, as well as the president's um, uh, quid, pro quo, prid quo, prid quo pro with Ukraine. So there's that. But there is also another investigation that Jeffrey Berman and his team of prosecutors are pursuing, and that is the Jeffrey Epstein investigation on behalf of his victims. Now, as you know, we had... Um, uh, a, an exchange under a particular treaty. Um, the US wants to interview Prince Andrew, who is not the target of the investigation, um, but is wanted, you know, to lend some information to that investigation. So there is the Epstein investigation, which every time I read on it, it involves and drags in Bill Barr <clears throat> and Donald Trump. So let's take a look. The other complicating factor, because all of this is convoluted, is the Supreme Court of the US will hand down or will make a finding as to whether the financials, the Deutsche Bank records and Trump's tax returns can be handed over. The Supreme Court has made a couple of surprise decisions uh, in, the re in recent weeks where it is sided with the Liberal side of the bench. Uh, Justice Roberts and Neil Gorsuch have voted with the Liberals to preserve DACA and also to um, the second matter was in relation to um, LGBT uh, rights as well. Um, so let's have a look at why Berman was fired. So it, when, it, my point with SCOTUS is that if these financials are handed over and SDNY to the, say, for example, the district uh, attorney of Manhattan, who is also pursuing an investigation into Trump's taxes and potential tax fraud. If they get the information, why wouldn't it be passed over to SDNY as well, who is also investigating um, matters to do with the Trump uh, organisation? So in some way, trying to put in his own man or woman um, is, is actually something I think that is connected to forthcoming or upcoming decisions by the Supreme Court. So it's complex and it's convoluted. But the bottom line and the very simple thing is 
that this is an attempted cover-up. So how, let's have a look at what my cards are going to say. I'm using my Spellcaster deck, and I may clarify with the Hanson Roberts Tarot as well. So let's have a look. Uh, why was Jeffrey Berman, US Attorney for the Southern District of New York, why was Jeffrey Berman fired? You know, what I'm seeing... <laughs> What I'm seeing is a fireplace, which sort of indicates sometimes I'll get symbols uh, clairvoyantly, which, you know, tell me something or spark my intuition, indicates that in the recent um, conversation that he had with Bill Barr, Bill Barr flew to New York, offered him a position within the de Department of Justice if he kind of transferred very quietly to the side. Um, it didn't go the way that Barr wanted it to go. Uh, whatever was said, whatever deal uh, Barr tried to strike with Berman at that time, um, Berman put his foot down and said, no, no. So this again goes to obstruction and cover up. So that little fireside chat uh, didn't go the right way for um, for Barr because Berman said no to whatever deal Barr was offering. So let's have a look. So then, of course, Barr had no choice but to fire him. No one anticipated he would fight back. Um, and, of course, both Barr and Trump are trying to throw each other under the bus. Um, all right, so let's have a look. Why was Berman fired? Why was Berman fired? Why was Berman fired? Yeah. I, he just wasn't their man. So we've got the, uh, in the as a signifier card, we've got hope. So whatever Berman was and his team were investigating, getting rid of Berman, installing Trump's man offered Trump hope at a time when he desperately needed it. Let's have a look what was crossing it. We've got the Empress card, Mother Russia. So Berman was all, you know, again, he was looking into the inauguration and, um, foreign interference in Trump's inauguration uh, donations. Um, he was also looking uh, into the Ukrainian matter. Now, the Ukrainian matter, I think, had the ability to expose Trump's dealings with Russia because Fruman and Parnas, particularly Lev Parnas, had threatened to talk, and I feel he already did. So... The move was to give Trump hope that he could control that investigation. The Six of Pentacles, now we get to the financials. So any dealings that he has had uh, via uh, foreign um, foreign countries, of course, always benefit, uh, go back a long way, benefit his business and, of course, um, his re-election prospects. The Turkish bank got under his skin, was a trigger point <clears throat> after Bolton released his his book or the information from his book, which, by the way, is actually going ahead. I didn't see it could be stopped. Um, the horse had already bolted. A federal court judge said he's not going to stop publication. <clears throat> the, Trump's triggered very easily at the moment. In the past, we've got his business, the Trump business. So the matters that Berman was looking into, um, I got very strongly Trump Tower when I when I. Uh, opened up for this reading. The kind of deals, his history in New York, um, uh, behind the the Trump Tower walls, those kind of um, those kind that kind of information um, to do with his own business is a very big factor here. Now we know his chief financial officer actually cooperated with the Mueller investigation. These are investigations that we haven't heard a lot of that we assumed were going nowhere, yet behind the scenes, it appears that they've been ongoing. Okay, so uh, in the sky, we've got the full card. Um, this was a rash action. This is a potential what's crowning this reading. This full, and I, and I normally don't read the, the full card like this, but looks like he's about to step off that cliff. So both Trump and bar are now firmly in the frame, um, of course, uh, to be hauled before Congress, before the House in some way, not, not obviously not Trump, but Barr has just again 
stepped outside of uh, his lane, acted like the president's personal uh, personal attorney again. Very foolish action. We've got total illumination coming in the future. So all these pieces of the puzzle sort of are dropping in. That's the feeling that I get. Why did Berman, uh, why did he fire Berman? He was highly anxious, highly anxious about these ongoing investigations in a state of high anxiety, lest the information get out. Uh, this is to do with his past, but it's also can sometimes represent um his children, particularly Ivanka, Ivanka Trump as well. Um, there, it's been said, I've read, that there's one thing that will trigger Trump uh, uh, apart from his uh, bad polls and, uh, you know, slings and arrows to his ego is to do with his children. So because I've got the Trump organisation here, I feel that the, um, the Giuliani, Lev Parnas, Iga Fruman um, case involved or drew in uh drew in his his the trump organization and their connections and their dealings overseas and particularly with russia um let's keep going he fears the money trail of course Mueller was prevented from following the money but this is what he fears that an investigation team will follow that money down because that's the ace of pentacles the two of swords, he is in a precarious position. This is a crossroads time for him. Pretty soon he won't be able to stop what is inevitably coming out. So all he can do now is make these moves and pretty much dig himself, in, you know, into that hole further and further and further. Um, we've got a review here um, and, you know, considering... Um, you know, changing things. This is when the goal isn't going to be uh, realised. Now, Berman insisted that his 2IC take over. So in other words, his plan has been thwarted. So he's got decisions to make. This is to do with Trump, the businessman, this uh, whatever investigations that Berman was working on that triggered Trump led directly to Trump and Trump's own business. So again, we can, uh, we you know, my intuition is drawn to the turkey matter. So it's a whole, it's a whole lot of things, I feel. The three of pentacles, this is uh, teamwork, um, can be people coming together uh, to accomplish something. This can also be skills, um, you know, bringing to bear three parties on, on this as well. This could be Giuliani, Lev Parnas, Fruman, for example. Uh, it's also dark money and politics. And here we have an, an abuse of power. I do feel that the Democrats, Pelosi and the Democrats in the House, have to ramp up their investigations on this and many other matters. They have no other choice, even though it's so close to the election. We do have judgment. They will be judged if they don't do anything. Uh, and we also have whistleblowers and spies in the camp. So look to uh, Aaron Zelensky, Mueller's prosecutor, that asked to be removed from the Stone case because Barr again inter intervened and got Roger Stone a lighter sentence. Um, and Aaron Zelensky is appearing before the House um, Jerry Nadler's committee, I think it is, on the 24th of June. Watch to any testimony by whistleblowers to be bombshell moments because here we do have the justice card and we do have the truth. Heck, Jeffrey Berman himself could turn up and have to testify in the House. Um I'm not sure if he's if he's no longer working for the Justice Department. Let's have a look. Will Berman be called up? I know that Kumar, I think it is Kumar, Senator Harris, Kumala Harris, is actually agitating to to ha to have Berman um, speak or to get to the bottom of this what appears to be obstruction of justice. Of course, Bolton outlines all of that in his book as well. It is the gift that keeps giving to Trump. 
Bolton's book, Revealing the Secrets. All right, let's have a look at whether or not Berman will come before the house because, wow, and testify. He can't, Trump can't claim executive privilege, can he? Because Berman doesn't work that closely with him. Um, let's have a look. <clears throat> let's have a look. Will Jeffrey Berman be called to appear at the House in front of a House committee? Jeffrey Berman. Again, it's just the evidence is just mounting, 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 mounting. Will Jeffrey Berman be called to appear before the House? I feel this could be part... I got that two of swords with Trump in... Well, why he was fired or... There are decisions that are needing to be made uh and i feel berman has to has decisions as well he knew when he took a stand that he that the, where this was going to go he probably knew he would be subpoenaed before the house um trump is now contemplating his next move how does he stop these testimonies all right so let's have a look will jeffrey berman be called before the house yes he will and he's bringing files with him. I'm just seeing file after file after file after file after file like a cascading long row of files. But we have partisanship, obstacles and challenges, the same kind of obstruction. It's going to get dirty. Uh, challenged by the past, the past, Trump's past. <laughs> Let's have a look at what the... Um, foundation of the reading is retreat so this is Berman of course being fired that's the foundation of the reading maybe that wasn't the smartest of move all right <clears throat> in the past we've got the genie out of the bottle and this is the uh, nine of cups which is the wish card wish fulfillment the genie what do we wish for <laughs> we wanted the genie the genie's out of the bottle Okay, we've got an investigator here. Uh, that's what's crowning the reading, the King of Swords. This is a lawyer. This is a prosecutor. Okay, now we've got intervention coming directly from the Emperor, directly from Trump in the immediate future. Berman will, will be called up. Trump's going to try and stop it. The Page of Wands. Uh, this is really something that he can't stop, uh, but it's only a page. It's not a, a queen or a king. This came out reversed. This is the Eight of Swords. This is restriction. Um, if we were to read it there, he's going to restrict the, the headlines, restrict the communication. Um, but this came out reversed initially, which means that I don't think he can restrict neither Zelensky nor Berman. The hopes and the fears, of course, that this is my card for the Democratic Party in the House, that the House brings forward this information. They're going to get pretty fired up about it. And here we have our Queen of Wands, a Queen of Swords, um, sitting alongside the King of Swords. Look at this. Okay. So the what's crowning this reading is the King of Swords. The outcome is the Queen of Swords. And we've got the judgment card, which means that th this is an inevitability that Berman will be called up the page of swords to give some kind of truth. This is the, what is known as the spy in the camp. Um, remember, we have the page of cups and the page of uh, swords both coming out in the last pool. At the end of the day, though, we do have the government. We do have loss uh, and we do have the knight of pentacles. Uh, this Slow. So this is the govern, government employee talking uh, to the house. And, of course, we've got loss here. Um, so, again, you know, this is just snowballing. Um, it's not really smart uh, moves by Barr and Trump. It's just, um, you know, when I pull that justice card, uh, ju uh, judgment card, it's like adding fuel to the fire, Um it's an inevitability that it's going to that some, that you know that these people will be subpoenaed by the house. I just want to see if this also had something to do with Epstein, um, the Epstein case. Of course, you know we've got always got Trump's past with Epstein to consider, and Barr's involvement there. 
in visiting Epstein and Epstein's so-called suicide. Okay, so did this also, Berman was working on that and had asked Prince Andrew for cooperation in that investigation. Uh, Prince Andrew said he was always going to co cooperate. I feel that Prince Andrew wasn't being forthcoming. Um, so let's have a look. Is this to do with the, did Trump consider the Epstein matter as well? Was Barman, Berman, okay, did Trump consider the Epstein matter that Berman was working on? Mm. I am getting Berman had collected testimony from the victims and it was pretty, pretty, pretty horrible testimony as well. Um, mm. The images I'm getting is are not good. We've got the justice card uh, and this is why I, do, I don't like reading uh, in, you know, it's on Epstein. It's I just get really bad clairvoyant Im images. We've got justice. Berman said he was going to get justice for the victims. Uh, I do believe those testimonies are on file. We do have the voter here, uh, the Ten of Cups and completion. Um, we've got the tower uh, and here we go. Here we go. If the investigation starts to publicly draw in Trump and the Trump organisation and any dealings that Trump had with Epstein and Epstein's victims. We've got justice and we've got the re his re-election. That is all Trump's concerned about. The foundation of the reading is the tower. So we're on the money here with this case. The two of wands playing the waiting game was in the past. Um, and we've got Berman, Berman's firing. I did feel that aside from the Trump organisation matters, that the Epstein matter was front and centre, front and centre. What did information did he have about Trump? Here we've got the emperor, the president, um, appearing in this re reading, and we've got the judgment card in the here and now. The environment around is the relationships, the commitments, the contracts. This is generally a partnership or a love relationship. Perhaps Trump may have had some kind of contract with Epstein. Then we have, in the hopes and fears, the death card, um, which is endings, of course. And whenever the death card comes up, with Epstein, I kind of, when I was pulling on him when he was in jail, I kept getting the death card. So I don't like going there, but um, but we, but I have to. Um, this the, the Berman was uncovering, was working on uh, the Epstein case. Now we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. She is showing up again. People ask me who is this woman that will take Trump down. I always say, yes, I think initially my draw was to Epstein's victims. Um, we do have the lover's card here. And we've got the world. Okay, so a heavy, heavy reading here. But uh, suffice to say, uh, you can join your own dots. <laughs> um, be careful what you put in the comment section. Um, I don't want trolls. Uh, on this channel, and I'm sure they they may come. Uh, but we've got the Wheel of Fortune. It's, it's a karmic card. We've got bombshells, and we've got the Sword of Truth here. Um, if I go one further, this is the women, the collective uh, women coming forward, wanting justice, and we do have the Ten of Swords. Um, so in summary, I feel that there were a number of reasons why you wanted Berman gone. Uh, including uh, his connections with uh, foreign foreign countries. But I'm also getting a strong pull to the Epstein investigation that Berman was currently working on. Now, you can put all that together and work that out for yourself. I feel that Berman will come before he won't be able, most likely, 
pardon me, to co comment on active investigations. I'm just not sure how this is going to work, but I feel he's going to bring files and files and files with him. So um, let's have a look. Will there be any... I might just change the deck now to the Modern Witch Tarot deck, the Modern Witch Tarot deck, uh, and let's just see if there's going to be any repercussions Bar will have to decide at some point how much further he is going to go for this president. Now, as an aside, we have his rally. Um, now, it just wasn't, it was so poorly attended. They had to cancel the outdoor addresses. The stadium, I think, held about 19,000 people. Um, it wasn't nearly at capacity. It, you know, it looked like it was maybe half full, if that. Um, and, of course, Trump is getting the message now that uh, things are not going his way. Um, what did he think would happen? All right, so, but, of course, this could make things very volatile. Um, all right, so Barr is saying that Trump wanted Berman fired. Trump is now saying, I didn't. Of course, are we surprised? We know that this Barr acted on behalf of Trump. So will Barr, uh, will Barr even attend the, the House um, investigations? Will he, he's ignoring subpoenas. What is Barr's future in relation to this matter? Did Barr go too far? All right, so we've got the full stepping off the cliff. This is a yes card. Yes, he did. Um, obstacles and challenges, again, wanting to obstruct, put barriers in place. Um, on behalf of the emperor, the president, you can't make these cards up, can you? But Barr will uh, be penalised for this. This is the Ten of Swords, complete and utter downfall. Let's see what's at the base of the pack. We've got loss and we've got the Four of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, look, you know, I've always said the Democrats have a, have to make decisions, even though they may not want to, you know, bring forward an, an another impeachment inquiry, investigation, which precedes the actual impeachment. I, I do feel that they haven't got much choice. So, um, Barr may have to, may have to turn up eventually um, if there is this impeachment investigation. I don't know on what grounds he could stop that. Um, but either way, he's got that Ten of Swords there. Um, he may even resign, as have a number of high-profile Trump appointees to the DOJ. Let's have a look at that. Will Barr be forced to resign? Will he actually try? Will the kitchen be too hot? Will Barr actually resign? Will Bill Barr resign? Will Bill Barr resign? So I'm getting that he wants to, but then he uh, loses the protection in a way of the president. But the Ace of Cups is a, is a yes card. Um, the Page of Wands. Okay, so the Page of Wands. Um, he would lose the protection, I think, the, that executive pr privilege if he, if he stays out. He has to defend himself here, though. Um, the world card, endings and beginnings. I feel that he made his mind up to go. Yeah, because he's. we're looking at restriction. He is going to come before the house, I feel, eventually. This is a harsh truth here. Um, <clears throat> right now, the devil. Who is he chained to? Who is he working for? Who is Bar? He may as well take up a pew beside this president when we pull this devil card. It's very unruly, strong, chaotic energy. Uh, the atmosphere around is the wheel of fortune. Of course, everyone has their role to play in this unfolding of the Trump presidency, working on behalf of Trump. So I think he would rather not be there because we've got the Ace of Swords here, uh, the truth emerging um, about the president. And we've got the Six of Swords. See, this is actually moving on. So I wouldn't rule out that he wouldn't try and make a getaway. Let's just put it like that. But right now, uh, staying in that position also protects him. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> and we've got uh, the Lost Card, the Eight of Cups, the Lost Card. So 
interesting cards. I want to pull, I don't, I keep saying I don't want these to be too long. I just, you know, in light of Trump's rally, uh, it looks like um, everything is unfolding, um, unwinding, unraveling for Trump is the word that I'm looking for. Um, I did predict Pascal, Brad Pascal, his campaign manager, I think the prediction was a week or two ago, may be reassigned. I think after this disastrous rally, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, Trump knows that, uh, knows that he needs more firepower. And what does he do when he knows that? He fires people. You're fired. Um, all right, so let's have a look at... Let's have a look at how he's feeling after this disastrous rally, making up um, lies again that there were protesters that stopped people getting in. Of course, it do, no, no footage, visual footage supports that. All right, so despicable, really, isn't it? So, how does show me Trump's? How does Trump feel? Okay, so he he's feeling uh, what I'm what I'm seeing. He's feeling very very isolated, um, and he has a sword in his hand. He wants to lash out uh, at somebody, but it's like he can't get close enough to do that. Um, so his hands are tied in a way. Damned if he does, damned if he doesn't, and so he's just hitting and missing. And it, the other part is he doesn't understand why. He's not objective enough to understand why he's hitting and missing. All right, so uh, that's a good analogy, I think, for him. He's hitting and missing. All right, so uh, how is Trump feeling? Just a few cards. How is Trump feeling after his disastrous rally? How is Trump feeling after his disastrous rally? Hmm. Secrets is uh, the first card out. Um, also, I feel manipulating data here. This this person has a laptop. As we know, American teens were responsible for, for um, uh, requesting, uh, you know, so many tickets. It went viral. It's like American teens pranked Trump. Um, he wants to find out how that happened, how that could happen. That's what I'm feeling. Um, he wants full illumination, uh, and I am drawn to the young pe person that's riding this horse. So he is looking to, for somebody to hit, hitting and missing. Um, yeah, see, I'm getting at the end of the day, things will get so bad for Trump. He just understands that there is loss on the horizon. How is he feeling? He feels that uh, he's you know, unable to control. There are so, so many, so many things coming at him. Uh, now his rallies don't even help. The Eight of Pentacles, um, you know, again, his big secrets that go back, um, that go back decades and decades and decades around his money. Uh, and of course, those money laundering allegations. And we've got the Unwell card again. So, you can expect this to be further impacting on Trump's health. Um, and I just want, I'm wanting to put these three cards together. So we do have ill health here and retreat. We do have <clears throat> loss and turning away from what is no longer working. And we've got the six of swords, uh, which of course is moving on. Let's see what's at the bottom of the... He's just wanting and expecting a miracle. The big thing on his mind is to try and hold back this information. Highly ang anxious about it. Uh, and the Nine of Cups, breakthroughs, miracles. This is our wish, not his. Um, trying to hold back the information, stop the headlines is where he's at at the moment. But he's also extremely unwell. Okay, um... Russia, Russia, Russia. All, uh, all roads lead to Russia. Um, all right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, an interesting reading. Uh, so, so many things coming at Trump. Uh, you'd think he'd do the sensible thing and go away. But, of course, then he would lose the protection that the presidency offers him. So he still believes that he can fight back. Um, my intuition tells me he's a shot duck. I hate to use that expression, 
but it's an expression that we use when there's no coming back from something, but he's still going to try. But that four of swords there indicates, again, expect more health issues from Trump uh, coming up. Um, all right. Thank you for tuning in. I will be back again with another reading soon. Thank you.